Hi, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use a flash drive with your Nexus 7 just in case. Uh, obviously there's no micro SD but this is kind of a workaround that is pretty handy. Um, what you need is a flash drive, a micro USB OTG host cable. You can pick these up for about I think three dollars off the internet and uh, Nexus 7 obviously and a cable to connect your Nexus 7 with your computer. It should have came with it. Software you'll need is the Wugfresh toolkit. You can get it at wugfresh.com right there and then an app once you're rooted called Stick Mount. You download that in the Google Play Store. And um, once you get those you're all pretty much set. I'm going to go ahead and root my Nexus 7 and this is a real quick manual driver configuration on the WUG Fresh. What you want to do is uninstall previous drivers, hit, hit launch USB to view, and then uninstall anything with 18D1 or 04E8 vendor ID. Then go to step 2 and install the Samsung drivers. Go to step 3, and once you're at 3A, go to settings, developer options, check USB debugging. Make sure it's connected via the stock Samsung cord. And then find whatever resembles your device in the device manager. Um, sometimes it just, it'll just be USB mass storage. Mine was uh, Nexus and it had a yellow exclamation point. Right click on that, hit update driver software. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now select browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list device drivers on my computer. Navigate to Samsung devices. Um, there's a lot of different ones, and you have to kind of navigate through all of them to find it. There's there, are in, I think it's in Samsung Electronics, but it's uh the one you're looking to install is Samsung Android ABD interface, and uh, I think that's all it says. Um, once you're done with that, move on to step four. I actually haven't even done step four, so I'm going to kind of walk through and test them. So, test list of device, yep, should say uh, numbers right there. Step five, reboot to boot bootloader. I haven't done this one. This step is used to get your device into bootloader mode so you can configure your fast boot drivers in step six. We need to be connected via USB with the USB debugging enabled. Simply press the reboot bootloader. Alright, go ahead and click on reboot bootloader. It's going to reboot mine and do a boot letter. Okay, now it's in a bootloader and I'm going to go ahead and I have Windows 7 so I'm going to try step 6A. Now 6A. Launch Dev Manager. Oh shit, wow, I got a crash. Alright, I'm gonna have to edit this out. Okay, well, my uh, program just crashed, but I'm still in 6A. Um, what it is asking me to do is update driver software on my Android device right here. Update, browse my computer for driver software. Let me get to Samsung devices. I'm gonna go ahead and there's the ABD interface right there. I'm going to go ahead and try this one. There we go, 2.9. That's exactly what I need. Hit next. It's going to give me a warning. Hit yes. Okay. And move, it says move on to step 7. If it doesn't work, move to step B. Go ahead and step 7 is press list fast boot devices and there we go I got a number for a fast boot device and now I have to move on to step 8 reboot the device go ahead and click rebooting your device there we go ABD interface popped up right there Samsung Android Composite ABD interface okay so I'm all done with configuring drivers if you guys have any issues leave a comment I'll try and get back as soon as I can, but if you made it all the way here, no issues. Um, 
you're ready to root, and I'm just going, that's just a couple clicks I'm going to go over really quick. Um, see you later. I'm going to have to end this part and then do the rest of my camera. Bye. Okay, once you're unlocked, um, just go ahead and click on root. It should be right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Checking the AB status of the connection. Device connected. Rebooting into bootloader. I'm going to go ahead and shine the camera on right here. OK, I uh, cut a little bit, but it's already complete. You get super user. You'll always want to test if you have the super user app and the uh, all your apps. But it's all done. Thanks for watching. Okay, once you're nice and rooted, go ahead and find Stick Mount in the Play Store and download it and install it. Set up your USB host cable. Plug in your flash drive. Hit open. Hit mount. Then that's where it's mounted. SD card, USB storage, SDA one. So. Say so you want to, um, I believe I put sample images on here. Let's see, I have a perfect view. Yep. So I have perfect view. Okay, oops. So, um, go ahead and go to USB storage. SDA1. Sample pictures. And yep, these are my uh, sample pictures I had. This app's called Perfect View, by the way, if you want it. <laughs> Alright, um, thanks a lot. This has been a little bit long of a tutorial, but thanks for watching.